silver now we are based on forward chart okay uh, based on silver if you refer back to my last video we see there is a few op option the first one is the price from here it can move up let's move the second that th this one will be based on the running flat the another one we need to wait this correction to get drop to somewhere around here that's mean we get the expanding flat then the price uh, can move up and that's mean this both of them the price move up but whether we get the running flat that's mean from here or expanding flat the another option is this is the correction the price that's mean if we get the sell the price can drop okay for more details you can refer back to my last video now we want to see this correction do we need to get the buy or sell how are we going to trade this correction in this case we move to one hour chart okay based on the one hour chart in my last video we see if we get the correction here we can look for sell now we see we have a correction but uh, as we can see there is a possibility also we can look for buy if I draw this trend line as we can see the price break the trend line do we need to buy from here no we don't need to buy here the option if you want to trade the buy the, uh, the first option is if you want to look for buy the first option is having entry above this alright as long as the price is within this small range if the sharp move up then we can have entry above this but if the price drop and break this low then having entry above this is not good idea alright but if we trade with this option when the price came to this level if we see within two to three hours is not moving then we take with the trade okay then we take with the trade the another option is still if you want to look for buy the second option is if within this range before we do dropping that's mean if the price from here sharp move give a small correction of like then we can look for buy as well again if we get the buy within two to three hours is not moving we take out the trade the possibility is because the reason is the price can come to this level and reverse okay that's why if we get any buy within two to three hours is not moving it's like this move to up is uh, uptrend I mean the up move is not sharp we take out the trade okay since we can expect we get the deeper correction here for one more sell but as we based on the followers we see based on a different pattern we can have a different charts that's why the we want to see which one is a correct in this way if we get the buy we go with the buy if you get the sell we get the for the sell because there is a both of the opportunity right now we talk about the buy then we want to see how we can look for sell if the price from here drop some more then we don't need to look for buy as I say, if the price drop, we don't need to look for buy. In that case, we will have a deeper correction. We need to look for the correction and look for sell. Do we need to sell from here? No. Wait the price drop here. Then if reverse back, we see a deeper correction, we can look for sell. If the price sharply from here move, even came to this level, we don't need to look for buy. We, be, we wait for the deeper correction. Does it drop? Then we see how we can get the, uh, how we can get the sell. The, all right and uh, right now we don't have much more information this is the only way we can trade it and we see which one we can get and uh, again if we want to trade the buy that's mean the price didn't drop from here with a sharp move up or come here and get a uh, flag or a small correction we want to look for buy if not moving we take out the trade because of the possibility for the reversal deeper correction and uh, may give us a mid drop again we just follow the chart and we see how we can trade it thanks